Once you've set up your phases, then assign those phases to your individual views. The next step is to start to draw your building. Underneath the project browser, go to your level one existing view. Underneath the architecture tab, select on wall. What I'd like to do is draw in a rectangular room and then put a few walls on the inside of this room or this building. Pick on the little rectangle tool, click once, draw in a nice big room, then select on the line tool and draw in a few walls here on the inside. After you have a condition like this, select on any of the walls that you've just drawn. Now, because they were created in the existing phase, if you scroll down to the bottom of your properties for that object, you'll find that the phase created is existing and the phase demolished is listed as none because it's never been demolished. What I'd like to do now is go to our demo phase and go through the process of doing some demolition. Underneath floor plans, double click on level one demo, then select on any of the walls in the project. Select on the sledgehammer tool on the ribbon over toward the left hand side, and this is called demolish. After clicking on demolish, you can click on each one of these interior walls, and you'll notice how the graphic is now changed for these soon to be demoed walls. I'll also point out the walls going around the perimeter are now a gray color as opposed to a nice dark color, and that's because they're existing walls instead of walls that should be on the demo phase. So these are still existing from the previous phase, and now these walls are being demolished inside of this phase. Which means that in the new phase, since these walls will have already been demolished, they'll no longer be in the new phase. They won't be there because they've been demoed. So if we double click on level one new, you'll notice that we now have our existing wall still going around the perimeter, but everything that was demoed no longer shows up. If we wanted to create new walls at this point, we could just come up to the architecture tab, select on wall, and then draw a wall from one point to another to create some new spaces for yourself. Each view can have a phase associated with it. And then as you're drawing inside of that phase, the walls, doors, windows, really any object that you draw inside of that phase will take on the properties of that phase. One last thing that I'll mention is that you can also reassign which phase those walls are created and demolished in. For instance, this new wall that we created. If I select on it and then look at its properties, we can see that the phase it was created in is new construction and the phase that it was demolished in is none. So it's never been demolished. But if we wanted this wall to have been created for some reason in the demo phase, maybe it was just a temporary wall, we could change it so that it was created during the same period of time as the other walls were being demolished and then have the wall just never be demoed. Then we could also come over here to the architecture tab, draw in another wall straight across. And now that we've done that, we can go back to our existing phase floor plan. Notice how that wall does not show up because it didn't exist before the demo phase. If we go to the demo phase, we can see the walls are demolished and the new wall that has now been created during the demo phase because we changed its properties to reflect that. And now if we go to new, we can see that all those walls that we saw in the previous phase are now existing. And that new wall we drew from here to here is the only wall that shows up as being a new wall in this view.